Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page one of your student journal. So please turn your student journal to page one. And we're going to start by writing our objective for the day. An obje objective is your goal. What do we want to learn or know by the end of today? So our objective we're gonna say is today I will, but instead of writing those words, we're gonna shorten it. And we're just gonna put T-I-W. So today I will add using the place value strategy. So today I will add using the place value strategy. So there are many strategies to add, but this is the strategy we're going to focus on today. Let's first look at our vocabulary. So the first thing says efficient. Efficient's a really big word in math. It says the easiest way to find the solution in the least amount of time or in the fewest steps. So some key words there are you find the solution. So it's not just taking some guess, because that's quick, but that's not finding the solution. So to be efficient, you want to find the solution, but you want to find it the easiest way. Okay, our next word says precision. Paying attention to detail and the process. In math, it's very important to have precision or to be precise. Okay, our next word says digit. Any single numeral from zero to nine. So one digit is six. So the number 12 actually is a two digit number because there's two digits in it. A three digit number might be 231. Now, since our lesson is on adding, we're gonna learn two addition words. So add-ins are the numbers added together to form a sum. So if my number was, we're gonna do a really easy one, two plus three equals five, and notice it's in green, so you should write that. Your add-ins are the two and the three. They're the numbers I'm adding together. The sum is an amount obtained as a result of adding numbers. It's the answer to an addition problem. So sum means answer. So my answer or my sum would be five. And then they give us two different strategies here. We're gonna do ours a little different though and we're not going to use the friendly number strategy. That's actually a really good strategy. I'm just not going to teach it in this video. And my place value strategy, I'm gonna do a tad different. Okay, so let's look at our steps. So we're not using the friendly number strategy, so I'm gonna cross that off, but we are using our place value strategy. So it says we're going to decompose, which means break apart the add-ins into ones, tens, and hundreds on a place value map. Then I'm gonna add the ones, so make sure we see what we're starting with. The ones, I'm gonna add the tens, the hundreds, and then I'm gonna rewrite in working form and add. So I'm gonna follow those steps. When I'm doing my problems, ladies and gentlemen, you might wanna look at the steps in your book and see if I'm following them. So here is my first problem. My first problem says 374 plus 212. So my first step says that I need to decompose these add-ins into ones, tens, and hundreds on a place value map. So here's going to be my place value map. Now you'll notice, ladies and gentlemen, I'm writing in red, which means you are not writing with me. I'm writing all by myself when I write in red. It's just me. So I'm gonna make a place value chart before I get started. And this is my ones, tens, and hundreds. So ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay. So I'm gonna decompose this. So if my number's 374, I have three in the hundreds, so I have 300, seven in the tens, so 70, and four in the ones. I also have, my other add-in is 212. So there's a two in the hundreds, which means 200. There's a one in the tens, which means 10, and there's a two in the ones. So this is what I'm going to be adding. So what I did is, this is called decomposing when I broke up 374 into 370 and four. And when I broke up 212 into 210 and 12, that's when I decompose the number. 
Okay, that was step one. Step two says add the ones. So four plus two is six. Step three says add the tens. 70 plus 10 would be 80. And then step four is add the hundreds. 300 plus 200 would be 500. Then my last step says rewrite in working form and add. Working form means that I'm gonna take them and I'm going to line them up. So I'm gonna come over here and write them, we call this vertically or lining them up, but when you line up your numbers, you wanna line up your digits really carefully. So I'm gonna show you kind of how they're lined up. If you notice how nice those were lined up and those were lined up and those, and then there's this end at the end. So make sure when you do working form, it's always lined up nicely. So zero, zero, and six is six. Zero and eight, if I added those, would be eight. And five with nothing would be five. So my number is 586. Okay, I'm gonna do one more of those, boys and girls, before we do some together. Here is my next problem. It's 457 plus 263. Okay, so before I get started, I'm gonna draw that place value mat. And what do I have? My ones, my tens, and my hundreds. Okay, so if my number is 457, my first add-in, when I decompose it, there's a four in the hundred spot, so that means that's 400. There's a five in the 10 spot, so that means 50. And there's a seven in the one spot. Okay, now let's decompose this add-in. There's a two in the hundred spot, so it's 200. Six in the 10 spot, which is 60. And a three in the one spot. And we are adding. Okay, so that was step one, which is the long step. Now step two says add your one. So seven, let's not think that's a zero. Seven plus three is 10. 50 plus 60, well I know 50 and 50 is 100, and then 10 more would be 110. And then 400 plus 200 is 600. So that was step two, three, four. Now my final step is I'm gonna add this in working form. So I have 600, 110, and 10. Now remember, in working form, you wanna make sure your numbers are lined up really nice. That's gonna be the difference between someone who gets correct answers and someone who makes silly mistakes. So zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one plus one is two. And six plus one is seven. So our answer is 720. Okay, so boys and girls, we're gonna try some together. We are on page two in your student journal. So if you can find page two with me. And our first problem says 284 plus 113. Okay, so let's first, step one, we need to create that mat and decompose. So let's not make your mat too little. Let's, so watch how big I'm gonna make mine and try and make yours the same size. Okay, and then we need at the top and the bottom, and then the middle is gonna be wider. And this is a three digit number, so we need th it broken into three columns. And there are ones column, our tens, and our hundreds. Okay, so we've made our mat. Now we're ready to decompose. So 284 means 200, 80, and four. And 113 means 100, 10, plus three and we're adding. So that's step one. Okay, step two is we're going to add and we always start in the ones column. So four plus three is seven. 80 plus 10 would be 90. And 200 plus 100 would be 300. Okay, so our final step, which is our working form, we're gonna add 300 plus 90 plus seven. 
Okay, before you add those, I want you to take a look and ask yourself, are your numbers really lined up? Are these digits lined up really nicely where you could either do that or just do it in your mind? Okay, so I have zero plus zero plus seven is seven. Zero plus nine is nine. And three plus nothing is three. So our answer is 397. Okay, let's do one more together, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so our first step is to draw this mat and decompose our add-ins. So let's draw our mat. Okay, and we need a top section for our place values and a bottom section for our answer. And then this is three digit plus three digits. So we're gonna divide it into three columns. And we have our ones column, our tens, and our hundreds. Okay, so let's decompose this add-in. We have 700 plus 20 plus eight. And then this add-in is 100 plus 90 plus two. Okay, so step one's done. Now it's gonna be step two, step three, and step four. So eight plus two is 10. 20 plus 90, well 10 plus 90 is 100, and one more 10 would be 110. And 700 plus 100 is 800. So what do we have? We have 800 plus 110 plus 10. Okay, again, double check. How are your, if they added, are they very lined up your digits? Hopefully, zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one plus one is two, and eight plus one is nine. So our answer is 920. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, your teacher's going to assign you some more problems to continue practicing. Have a wonderful day, bye-bye.